Greetings again, fellow gamers. Small Archangel here. It's day 13, so I've done one day off camera looting the POI, looting the town that uh, I went to in the last episode. And I'm kind of sort of half expecting uh, the Feral Horde show up tonight. There isn't very much I can do to prepare for it at this point. My base isn't such that I can engage with the enemy above ground. So what I'm going to have to do really is just sit it out this time below ground. Um, I don't have much choice. I do have future plans which involve, you know, being able to take pot shots at them and what have you. But for the time being, that's just not feasible. Till I've got... Yeah, I was pretty sure I'd check that. Uh, till I've got... Um, the ability to sort of make myself some concrete is going to be pretty difficult really to uh, uh, yeah to get my base in a, a position where I've got you know sort of uh, a sniper tower or anything like that so uh, it's going to be very much a case of hiding out tonight so um, with that in mind my priority is fortifying the base as best I can to try and get um, there was a zombie there. No, there wasn't. Good. I've killed him. Um, yeah, to get it as secure as possible so I don't feel like I'm about to die every every moment. Uh, so there isn't too much point in my coming into... Oh, I'll take a look. Into Shogun Messiah here. That's going to be a one to raid on another day. What I really need, actually, at this point, because I've managed to raid myself some concrete... I actually took out the cellar floor of one of the houses in in town, which uh, it's that I'd rather not do. I'd rather make my own. But what I have noticed is that a lot of the places that used to want to be concrete are now this kind of sidewalk here, which I think just drops destroyed stones. So that's not very useful uh, when it comes to trying to find something to, you know, build the blocks out of. Okay, I will take this stuff. It's all going to be useful in the future. And who doesn't like beer? It's good stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to do a quick raid on this. And then... Oh, an auger blade. That's the first one of those I found. Yeah, all good, all good. I think that's the best spade. That's the best shovel I've found. Which is good, because I broke the last one. Because I'm a fool. I didn't notice how wrecked it was getting and just broke it while I was digging up dirt. And of course I was digging up dirt to plant my garden, but I'm actually going to leave planting the garden till next episode. I kind of wanted to do this episode, but if I do that, then the feral horde might just trash it all tonight. So uh, I don't want to do that, obviously. That would be a waste of time. Oh, there we go. I knew there would be some company somewhere on the way. There we are. I've got about a million doors now, but of course the doors will also be useful for the next uh, and now I've got so many of this, these things I can't take anymore. Okay, we don't need a million and a half repair tools, so let's get rid of those. I've still got some at home already. That's not very good quality, but I'm going to keep it because it's the only one I've found. And you're going to get a club in the face. Alrighty then. Now, I think I've looked in all of those now, so that's good. Ooh. There's a schematic I've not looked at so far. And that's not quite what I meant. That's a bit rubbish. I've got better ones back at base. Alright. Pop that in there because I just only need the one. Alright. So, oh, hello. Oh, how did I miss you? Okay. So. What I thought I might do, I thought I might take out one of these ladders because I'm fairly sure that ladders drop ladders when you're... Uh, but not until I've had a look on uh, on the roof here and grabbed what I can. Sham. Hmm, yes, I've already got lots of sham. I'm not sure I really need any more sham. Um, yeah, I will take it because I have space there. No, not too worried about scrap lead at the minute. Okay, that's pretty much all we've got up here. So for the time being then, uh, if I can find it. Oh, 
will take out this bladder, hopefully a section at a time, and preferably not the section that I am currently standing on, because that could get messy. Now, did I take that? Of course not, because I can't, because I'm full of, what an idiot. Right, okay, here we go. Is there a ladder there somewhere? I'm not even sure that that worked. Let me just... I don't think there's even a piece of ladder there I can take, is there? So I think that fail, that um, plan is going to fail completely. It, I think they used to draw... I might just have to have uh, wooden ladders. I might just have to rough it and have wooden ladders, even though the metal ones are stronger and look better. Should be alright because I shouldn't have uh, problems that I've had before with zombies hitting one side of a wall and the ladder getting destroyed on the other side of the wall, which is massively inconvenient. Obviously. And a little bit unrealistic as well, of course. Oh, come on, get on top of the... Oh, look, that's not too far away. Unfortunately, I'm completely full, so I can't pick it up. Okay, nothing in that. Might just have to run over there and make a note of its position, though. Unfortunately, I have to turn my back on it, at which point it'll probably stop blowing smoke and I won't be able to see it anymore. Ladder there. Okay. It's roughly in the right direction anyway, which it should be, of course. Oh, you see, gone. Can't see it now. So annoying. Actually, no. I think it was in entirely the wrong direction. I do wish they would drop vaguely in the vicinity of your base. It's just so random. Anyway, that's about as much as I can probably manage at the moment. So, it's back to base and try to uh, try to do a bit of fortifying. Yeah, can't pick that up. And I don't think I can even pick that up today. I have no space. The weather really is a lot better since the patch, actually. Um, I'm quite impressed. It, it's much more like being in the desert now. The sun shines most of the time, which is good. And I'm assuming, though I haven't been in the other biomes since the patch, I'm assuming that the other biomes feel rather better as well, because I used to get sort of massive thunderstorms and rain all the time. And I haven't really had any heavy rain since the patch. In fact, I haven't had any at all. I've had the odd little bit like this, a little light shower, and it lasts for you know a couple of seconds, so that's about it, uh, in the desert. And the other thing is that apparently, though I haven't had a chance to even spot this because it doesn't rain here, apparently it doesn't rain on your furniture inside your base anymore, which is nice because that really was quite odd. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I've got hose here, so I'm going to put some more hose in there. Um, I've got repair tools in there already. Basically, I just need to go pick those up. Okay, so I'm going to dump this stuff off. No, I don't need to go in the fridge. Okay, we'll stick the sham in there, and then I've got a load of other stuff to put away. Uh, that's fine, a load of stuff there. Okay, so one of the things I really desperately need to do, really, is um, expand my storage capacity, because I just don't have enough, basically. Um, I'm picking up some sort of spare tools and things here, and that one can go now because this one's much better. Actually, I need that one with me, don't I? I have that as a spare for the time being, but I need this one with me because it's the only one I've got for the time being, having broke the other. I don't know what they stack into now. I've got a few of those, so I've got those if I need to make any more ladders, so I'll keep that there for the minute. Um, I've got rebar and stuff here, but I think I've got some more elsewhere the two I need those elsewhere anyway doors there right okay so we've got doors there okay bear with me this is the problem I have it's just not enough storage capacity for all my stuff and I do have quite a lot of scrap iron now there as well as you can see oh, crap sounds like we have company 
See, I'm expecting a lot of that tonight. I'm expecting a lot of bad-tempered zombies trashing my fence just because it happens to be in their way. And that's what I think of that. Okay, I might just take that brass tool. Anybody else? I did hear somebody else somewhere. Yeah, quite a few of them, actually. All right. Form an orderly queue, guys. Yes, you. And he's giving me infection, too, you manky swine. Where have you been? Oh, thank you for the soup, though. Much appreciated. Okay, as ever, I do carry these on my person. And then throw them on the ground, apparently. That happens a lot, I find. Okay. All right. Did we take out that little mini horde there? Very annoying. Okay, so... I'm still carrying way too much stuff to actually be able to do this. Uh, so, let's just... I've got so much wood, it's untrue as a result of this being able to break well, uh, wood debris down and things. Okay, I've got some more of this. I do like the auto stack function that happens now as well, which is very helpful. There, I've got so much duct tape. I'm really not sure I need that much duct tape. I should probably just stop collecting it, really. Um, and I've got a load of this stuff that I just can't house, so for the minute I might just, you know, line it up and it can wait until um, I've got that sorted. Okay, so I'll just put my spare water and beer away. I've got my beer cupboard here, which is kind of full of beer. A lot of water under the sink. And yeah, I've got that for in case. Now, in the bedroom here, I have my crate, my cooler, which I've been storing up stuff. It's quite difficult to find stone in the desert. Uh, for making... Oh, I've got to grab those two. And blocks of concrete. I didn't manage to get very many, so there's probably not enough there, but... It'll start. It's a good start. Okay. And I do need those as well, but I actually need probably a bit more than that because I'm going to make a fair few of these. But I have not got any lack of them, so there we go. Uh, they don't... No, they're still 250s. So that's cool. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do then, I'm going to make a fair few storage crates. I'm going to make a couple of these. All right, so we got food crates there. I'm going to make a couple of building storage crates. I can still hear footsteps out there. Of course, I probably should kind of close my base up because uh, we're probably expecting hordes of dogs today as well. Weapons crate, and last but not least, ammo crates. I think that's the full set now. Okay, so we'll start off with the building crates. And I'm planning on putting a forge in here as well, when I can build one of the wretched things. Uh, this is my kind of cooking area here, so... Oh, someone's realised I'm here. You must be a genius. I'm going to put my building crates here and here. And here. And here. I'm going to place my food crates. And here. And here. Uh, health actually. Okay, I then have a bunch of crates here, which I'm going to put closer to here actually. I might sort of, no I can't fit them there. I will put them sort of here. Right, I'm going to put a weapons crate there. And I haven't absolutely decided what I'm going to do with these. You see that's kind of a bit in the way. 
there and I don't really want to put them sort of outside my main air entrance there not really so there we go I might change my mind on those ones a bit because they're kind of in the way slightly so I don't know um, there might be it might be a better idea to sort of pop them in here but uh, like either side of there or something I don't know anyway so that's kind of uh, what I was intending on doing so uh, the building crates here I've got there, plenty of place to put this lot so I've got a load of rebar frames here so this side is going to be for my frames and blocks and the other side can be for most for raw materials like gravel and concrete and stone and all the rest of it and I can keep tools uh, in the middle bit there and maybe sort of household stuff as well okay so we've got uh, yeah, I think let's go on the other side here oh I've got 64 of them in my hand as well which is quite silly of me okay and then on this side I'll put my wood like that okay what's more there oh and that's just respawned something as a result of my having opened it okay and I might put doors and these spare things here as well and oh and then there yeah, that's kind of kind of full already and that's respawn weird stuff as well and then I might put sort of more random things like that in here I haven't fully decided yet but um, perhaps gravel is going to go in this one like that okay so I'll kind of decide on that as I go um, food for there health for here okay so I've got some slight reorganizing to do for for all of this uh, but I am planning on keeping sort of some of these for sort of just tools to keep tools in um, where's my forge gonna go that was something I probably didn't think about wasn't it I'll probably put the forge in kind of here maybe or I don't know anyway I might change my mind on some of these um, and maybe put some uh, storage boxes up there instead of down here um, it makes more sense to have my forge there perhaps and then put storage on either side of it that's more sort of relevant to the forge uh, but I don't suppose it makes too much difference I could easily put storage crates in uh, these two blank spots as well and then have the actual cupboards more for uh, storing things that I need a bit less of like like tools like I've got here or like um, fuel like coal coal or stuff like that and then yeah I've got sort of stuff for making bullets out of kind of in there and then uh, stuff for making weapon repair kits and the kits themselves there so the next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to move that over there I'm just going to ignore this lot of stuff for a bit um, and we need to make some metal ladder so I've got three there and I could probably make another so I've got six there so that should be plenty I'll just get a bit of light on the subject and what we're going to do first of all is get shot of these stairs and looks like we're going to have to mine out some dirt there as well some sandstone oh look there's concrete blocks here as well which is actually I probably don't need want to get rid of that one <laughs> it's probably wants to stay exactly where it is but that doesn't mean I'm gonna need less of them than I thought see the concrete is actually pretty strong uh, given I've got my durability settings on pretty low at this point it still takes quite a few swipes with my not that bad fire um, pickaxe to get that get through it 
Okay, now I probably am going to actually have to take out some of these concrete blocks because really quite a lot of them. Um, there's a zombie there. I'm going to want to get shot off him before I do... Oh, crap. Before I do anything else. And there's another one, I can tell. What did I just trash? Some rubbish. Oh, well, that's okay. I can live without the rubbish. Oh, for heaven's sake, what now? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, did I disturb you with my concrete bashing? I do apologise. The neighbours around here are so tetchy. Sorry, no one taught me a diplomatic solution. Not when it came to Zeds, anyway. Okay, let's see if any of them have got anything worth nicking. And then straight back to it, because it's nine at night now, so no messing. Let's get on with it. Okay, so, uh, where do I want it to be? Basically, I'm probably going to want my ladder to go here. So, where's my ladder? Where is my ladder? It's there. Gosh, it's nearly invisible, that stuff. Okay, so I'll probably put my ladder there. I think that's going to be about the right place in the shed. Kind of middle-ish. So, I'm going to do that now, and then... Uh, I'm not absolutely convinced I did that right, actually. Uh, which means, yeah, we want... Oh, you blast it. That's not what I meant. Oh, yes it was. Okay. There. And then we need to take out this one. Good. And this one. that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, it's probably going to be a little bit more intelligent at this point to interesting. Can't get on the ladder. Okay. To finish this at the top, because uh, yeah, time is of the essence at this point, and I want it to be secure as I can get it on the top here. Okay. I'll do that. And then the other thing I'm going to need, and I don't have it at the moment, is a hatch. So let's just get in here and grab some wood oops which i should know where it is now and i've got more wood than this as well stashed randomly into a locker all righty and wait let's have my nail gun too then i can upgrade it while i'm about it oh Yep. I'm only just going to manage this in time. Yeah, if the ladder lets me get on it. Come on. Okay, jobs are good. There we go. And down we go. Let's just get that shut now. Okay. All right. Continuing. It's not exactly stealthy doing this job. So I might just leave the rest. But I do want to... Because I can hear a lot of footsteps up there. 
I don't want to be hitting anything else at this point, really. And I do want another door between me and them. I'm not sure if this is actually going to go there. Uh, it will, which is quite interesting. And then, of course... Yeah, that too. <laughs> so that's kind of done it. Now I don't shut that door because... Because then they'll find me. They'll hear it clang. That is the problem with those doors. They really make a very loud clang indeed. I think I can hear a wasp as well. And of course it is that... There we go. Hunted. So now that they know I'm here anyway, I may as well shut that door. And I can hear a lot of Zeds out there. But as I say, at this point in time, I have no way of actually engaging with them. All I can do is sit here and hope that they don't trash the place too much overnight. And dogs. And the lot. I mean, this is a bomb shelter. I'm hoping that it does what it says on the tin and gives me shelter. Um, yep, bad dog. Go away, dog. And there's a cop. Yep, it's a second night for a second feral horde, all right. Um, and on, yeah, on, yeah, they're a day early again. So I guess I've bulked my my horde spawns a little bit by changing my up, uh, my changing my day uh, duration to forty minutes from thirty minutes. It's confused the poor deers. What can you say? They're not that bright. But yet again, they don't seem to be doing too much beating crap up. Um, up there so I guess that's not a bad thing there's not much to beat up up there apart from stuff I'm probably going to get shot of anyway but in the next episode hopefully I'll be doing a little bit of uh, setting up a garden up there uh, I'm still going to be doing a lot of off camera searching for just various materials and what have you but also yeah searching for gosh the whole pack of dogs up there searching for uh, the forge book because really I do need that like crazy I need to be able to make some reinforced concrete or just plain old concrete like this for upstairs for use up there top side so that by the time the next horde rolls around I can actually get engaged and get some XP out of them at the moment as I say go up there I'm just going to die so I'm staying right here which ain't going to be too exciting, I hope. <laughs> so, I'm going to end the episode here, crouching in my bomb shelter, where they're completely and utterly aware of me 100% of the time, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> they just know I'm here. Uh, so they've obviously changed the horde mechanics again for that. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. I hope I'm still alive in the morning. I was after the last horde. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the next episode might start with me cleaning up after them. That is to say, yeah, killing them if they're all out there somewhere. Kiting them away from my base, if at all possible. And uh, then perhaps doing a little bit of farming if I'm still alive. So do join me then. Till the next episode, guys. Uh, keep surviving. Happy gaming. See you later. Bye-bye.